Hey, what's up, guys? I was just out here in the garage. Uh, drove car a little bit today. And I'm going uh, to innovate. Uh, Wide band here is acting a little crazy, so uh, it's probably due for a re uh, recalibration. If any of y'all have this Wide band, I'll show you how to uh, calibrate one of these guys. So, so that's what I'm going to do today. I uh, have it calibrated since I got the cartoon, so it's pretty much due for one. Uh, plus, the car does run a little bit on the rich side. Alright, so I got my sensor here uh, on my down pipe. It's right there, wide band sensor. Got going all the way around on the other side of there. You're going to need a 7 8 wrench to get this uh, sensor off. So, First we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug the sensor, then uh, take the sensor out. All right, for recalibration or calibrating the sensor, it will need to be out from the exhaust and has to be unplugged. So we're gonna go inside the car. All right, we're back in the car. Just gonna grab my keys. And all we want to do here is just power the unit on. Alright, so it's going to display E2. And up to the top, you should see there it says that it's got a little red light. Alright, so you want to keep it this way for at least 30 seconds. Alright, so it's been 30 seconds. I'm just going to power the unit off. We go back to our sensor here. And now we plug it in. Alright, once you plug it in, you hear a snap. Make sure it has a good connection. And keep your sensor out from the exhaust. Open air. Alright, now we're back in the car. We'll just power the unit back on. Does a little sweep. So right now it's heating up the sensor. And after it says that, it should say calibrate real quick. All right, so now the sensor is calibrated. Uh, the 22.4 air fuel ratio is perfectly normal because it's open air right now. So it's safe to turn the key off. All right, so now it's safe to put the sensor back into the exhaust. You can unplug the sensor when doing this, but do not turn the key on because you will you have to you will have to recalibrate again through all the steps. So, so like I said, I got the key off. So that I can safely unplug it and put it back in the exhaust. Alright guys, so that's how you do the recalibration or calibrate at innovative uh, wideband sensor. So like I said, I was driving it today and it started going crazy. So I haven't calibrated, recalibrated since the, the tune. So I'm sure it was due for one. I am running on the rich side. Alright guys, so hopefully that helps you out. Uh, if it does, give me a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll see y'all later.